healthy. Well, according to the World Health Organization, breast cancer is the most common cancer among women worldwide, claiming the lives of hundreds of thousands of women every year. In fact, it affects one in eight women. So what can be done to detect it, and why is it important to know about breast density? Dr. Erin Capps joins us with answers. She's a radiologist and associate medical director for breast imaging and the Women's Health Center at the Queens Medical Center, West Oahu. Good morning, Dr. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you for having me. So first of all, when should women begin getting mammograms and how often? Sure. So most women should begin getting a mammogram every year beginning at age 40. Um, so that's our recommendations for women of average risk and we recommend that because since routine use of mammography beginning at the age of 40, we've seen a decrease in death rate from breast cancer of 30 to 40 percent. So it's very important. Mammography is the best tool we have for finding breast cancer early when it's small and when it's the most treatable. Okay. And then with family history, you should get more mammograms? So if you, um, if you have a family history of breast cancer, you should speak to your doctor and discuss those risks, and it may be necessary to start screening early or to have additional screening depending on your personal risk. Okay, and what does breast density mean? Yeah, so density refers to the amount of fibrous or glandular tissue within the breast as opposed to fat. So um, the breast can be composed of entirely fat or can be extremely dense, meaning very little fat. And so this is reported in your mammography report by the radiologist who reads your study. Mm -hmm. And Hawaii actually has a breast density law that requires uh, patients be informed of their breast density. And the reason to know your breast density is that, um, oh, and, and we have an image here. So mm -hmm. this is just an example. So it's basically on a spectrum of kind of four uh, densities. On the far left, mm -hmm. we have a, a breast that's almost entirely fat. And on the right, that's what we're talking about when we say extremely dense. So you can see as you become more dense, your breast, the mammogram becomes more white, okay? Mm -hmm. And so the reason it's important is because women with dense breasts may have a slightly increased risk of breast cancer. And also because it makes that mammogram more difficult to read. And mm. you could actually, you could see how, you know, a small cancer appears white on the mammogram. So a small white cancer may stand out quite well on the, on the breast that's entirely fatty, mm -hmm. but may be kind of hidden or obscured on the, on the breast that is, is more dense or, or extremely dense. Is it common, breast density? It is. It's extremely common. Um, and it's really just a spectrum of, of normal. Mm -hmm. um, and so about half of women are going to be kind of this on the denser side of the spectrum and half are going to be, you know, on the, on the fattier side of the spectrum. Okay. And there is a class coming up, a free class that uh, people can go to and learn more about uh, breast density and uh, what you need to know about breast cancer. Exactly. So we have uh, Speaking of Health. It's going to mm -hmm. be at our West Oahu campus um, this Thursday at 6 p.m. And it's a free uh, class, but um, you need to call and register. Okay, so this Thursday, 6 to 7, Queens out on West Oahu, though, West Oahu. Right? not the Correct. main campus, okay? Correct. And if you need more information, you can go ahead and call the number on the screen or also look at our website. Well, thank you so much, yeah. Dr. Katz, for joining us. All right, thank you for having me.